First of all, guys, amazing show. The show is filled with mystery, but the horror will keep you on the edge of your seat. And if I ever saw a tree in the middle of the road, I am screwed. That's what I do know. Um, Now, Ian and Catalina, first question for you guys. Can you guys talk to me a little bit about Tabitha and Jim and the Matthews family and and where we meet them when we first start the show? Yeah, Yeah. Uh, we're 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 at a literal crossroads in our in our life and, and our marriage. Uh, we have had we have suffered a family tragedy that would be impossible for any family to ever truly get over. The best one could hope for is to heal in some way, and 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 forgive, right? Uh, and, and not hold hold blame for oneself or or, or your partner. And we're at um, we're we're on a last trip. That is, it's inferred that maybe this is the last trip we'll ever go on as a family. Uh, because we don't know if, if, we'll, if we'll make it. Uh, and, then, and then we find ourselves uh, thrown into this um, dystopian nightmare of an experience uh, that is, is, if one could believe it, in, infinitely worse. Right. And only in this nightmare are we able to realize and understand that it is actually an opportunity right. for us to heal our wounds if we come together as a family, if we work together and love each other and support each other, all of the wounds are p- potentially can, can be healed. Uh, and that's the only way we're ever going to get out of the situation. And so we were talking earlier today about what this kind of, what, what these things kind of pr- present as, as, as opportunities uh, in life. And, and maybe we end up in things in, in situations in life that are, seem so difficult at the time, but really they're, they're the great gift because it's what your soul needs to do to grow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Harold, look, I got to talk to you. Got to ask you about uh, Sheriff Boyd. Talk to me about Sheriff Boyd and the town that we find Sheriff Boyd in without giving any spoilers away, of course. Absolutely, absolutely, my man. So Sheriff Boyd, like you said, is the sheriff of this town and this town where people are are stuck and can't get out and, like Ian says, offers you opportunities for healing or death. Uh, you know, either one can come and, and, uh, and uh, he's there, you know, using, uh, you know, all his might to try to make, you know, try to make sure that everyone stays as safe as possible as they try to figure the figure their way out of this nightmare. You know, uh, it, it may look like, you know, uh, they're sitting there, but they are, are actively, and Boyd in particular is actively trying to figure out the puzzle of this town and how we can all uh, get to safety and be safe while we're doing it. So absolutely that's journey and that's what he's doing. Absolutely. Now, Catalina, teenagers are never easy. Can you talk to me? about your character's relationship with her daughter, Julie. And also, uh, it seems like her son, Ethan, has a special connection to the town. Can you talk about that as well? Uh, yes. Um, the teenagers, you know, I have a 13-year-old myself, and I am starting to feel that push, like very, not, you know, sneaky push, but like, leave me alone, this is my thing, which is, a contrast from like a two years ago where he was just like, mommy, don't call me mommy anymore. I mean, like it's a very sharp cut, which I understand. And I'm trying to, for my own sanity, it's like, it's okay. He's growing. He has to grow. He has to go through his, you know, teenage years. Um, but it's also understanding that when sometimes he snaps at me, he's, it's not because he wants to, but it's, you know, hormonally he's changing. And I think, you know, in this watching, uh, when I was watching this, um, this, this four episodes, I realized that what I miss from Tabitha is that, you know, Julie is snapping at her all the time. I mean, she's a teenager, right? Maybe instead of like snapping at her back, maybe it's just like hugging her, you know, like just what I'm doing with my kid right now. Like I'm not snapping at him back because the fire is going to come back to me. But what if I do something different? So parenting is very tricky, um, and I and I love that parenting. I think it's 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 very interesting to me 
um, how I deal with, with, with mine and how I translate that to for a TV show. So I'm going to keep an eye um, open if we have a next season, how do I deal with my teenage daughter? Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. And, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and you, you asked something about the, my son. Oh, yeah, because he has a special connection to the town. It seems like Ethan is kind of connected to the town a little bit. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know why I went to that question because the answer is like, she doesn't know that he does. You know, she doesn't, she has no idea that he sees a little boy in the, on the, on the, you know, on the window. She has no idea that after, you know, the van, she has some sort of connection with Victor. I mean, like she has no idea what, what's happening. So that's going to be very interesting to see what's, what's going to happen to, with Ethan in relationship with the town. Absolutely. Well, look, I'm a huge fan of this show already. Every single episode had me ready to go for the next. I think Jack Bender did such an amazing job at directing these. Amazing job. And uh, I'm going to have to go back and watch this and see if I can catch any Easter eggs that lead to the bigger mystery. But guys, I want to thank you guys so much for your time. I love From. It's an amazing show. So guys, thank you. I appreciate All right. it. Right on. Joseph, thank you.